Good morning, everybody. Actually, I think it's afternoon. Yeah, the Packers just started at, at noon, and um, so that means it's afternoon. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and this is A Country Life. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the meals that we make throughout the week based on what I have found in my chest freezer. So if you have a chest freezer <laughs> or maybe even like an extra upright or an extra regular whatever if you have an extra freezer you know how easy it is for things to start sifting down to the bottom right and so this morning i wanted to make a menu plan for the month of november and i started writing a few things out and i thought wait a minute I really need to go look into the freezers and really kind of make sure that I'm using up the meat that I have in there because we are in hunting season. So Warren has been doing um, uh, plenty of like grouse hunting and we've been eating those as he gets them, but it's also deer season. And so I'm really hoping um, that he gets a deer here in bow season and then also in um, the gun season. So let's take a peek into the freezer okay so this morning we came out these pizzas were not in here I bought those after church but this morning we came out and we just started looking through getting everything kind of organized again so underneath here we have an entire box of frozen blueberries and then I have a good portion of the broccoli that I froze from the garden this summer, I have that in here. I do have more in other freezers I'm going to have to um, combine. I have one bag of cranberries. All the rest are in the downstairs freezer, so I really should take those there just to try to keep everything together. And then in here, I do have um, turkey. So um, one of Warren's maybe second cousins or great cousins, I don't know if that's how, what the term is, but anyway, he has given us uh, some of his and I made some of that, but I feel like they gave, him, gave us some turkey twice. Anyway, I have some of that. I also have a turkey breast from one of Warren's turkeys. Uh, this I'm gonna be using later this week in my Instant Pot. And then what is in here? Oh, and here is some chicken. It was starting to leak. I picked this chicken up at Piggly Wiggly for a screaming deal a couple weeks ago. So tomorrow I'm gonna be using this chicken. I still have <laughs> some of these biscuits from last year's fair. So I am gonna be using those up a little bit later in the month with some sausage gravy. And then down here, I combined all of our beef that we have left, which is five chuck roasts. There is a pack of, um, what are these, uh, short ribs. There are four packs of soup bones down there. So later in the month, I am going to be doing something with the soup bones. I'll put those in my Instant Pot. I did it. Boy, if I can find that video, I'll link to it here. Uh, that worked so well to put the soup bones in there, and I was surprised how much meat was on there. Today after church, we did zip into Aldi just so I could pick up a few things before I do my great big once a month grocery haul, which is actually going to happen tomorrow. But um, we wanted a couple things for after church today, and then we also wanted to get some pizzas for supper tonight for just like a kind of just a fun supper. And then over here, <laughs> this is all of Warren's stuff. So he is a trapper, he is a hunter, and he keeps things. So sometimes he will um, like pelt out an animal, but he won't sell it that year. So he uh, rolls it and freezes it. So that is in here. <laughs> and just other things are in here. So there we go. I don't really know how much you guys want to know about that, but sometimes he saves glands. He will then use those glands, um, yeah, for trapping bait and things like that. Okay. All right, I was just going to come in. Oh, you got caught. <laughs> I was just going to come in and ask or show everybody the brats. So this morning, one of the other things that we found were brats, venison brats. You're going to grill those, right? Yeah, so... What I did this morning before church is I put the frozen brats in beef broth in the crock pot with two onions and we just let them basically thaw and cook from about 7 o'clock until noon and now he's going to grill those up and that's what we're going to be having. Wow, Josh! And then that's what we're going to be having for lunch today. And Peter's working at learning how to set traps today. 
Okay, so you're going to use the trap setter, huh? Woo! Just, yep, pay attention to what you're doing here, right? Nice. <laughs> nice job. Okay, Warren's flipping the brats, and he's like, "Come film." Well, that's well, what you wanted. I know, I did. Nice. It's windy out here. It's super windy. Sunny, but windy. That's uh, Wisconsin. Wait five minutes. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, those look good. They're probably fully cooked. Yes. I would imagine. I'm just gonna brown them. Just em brown them up. up. Okay. I'm gonna make a salad to go okay. with it. I want to give you guys a little. Um, well, I don't know if it's a tip or what, but anyway. So what I've been doing lately, because I feel like. I've been wasting a lot of the salad mixes. You open it up, and as soon as you open it, it starts to brown. So what I've been doing, which sounds kind of crazy, I'm buying extra, <laughs> um, getting these kits, these chopped salad kits from Aldi, and then I buy an extra bag of the lettuce. I mix it all together in a bowl, and then I immediately put all of the toppings. So I use all the dressing, the cheese, and whatever the little like crunchy topping is. And it just seems like the fact that the salad is already mixed, I just feel like people actually like take more of it or something. I don't really know what it is, but I just know when I put out a bowl of lettuce and croutons and dressing, we would end up putting so much of it away. So this has been kind of the new thing. It seems to work pretty well for us and just wanted to share that with you guys. So it's just gonna be brats and salad today for lunch. What you having for lunch, Joe? Um, Porsche. 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 Yeah. What is it? Um, it's burgers and french fries. Burgers and french fries? That's burgers and french fries? Yes. That looks like a venison and brat and salad. Yeah, uh, it tastes good. I hope it tastes good. That's probably cover by oh, Sunday nice. evening now, and although this really isn't part of this this video, Emily is the one who's going to be helping me to input all the recipes for the cookbook. <laughs> and so I, I'm like, I think I want you to enter those recipes. <laughs> What did you say? I said it's like the Declaration of Independence. Like, <laughs> you know, you gotta be so careful with it. Just set it down. And yes, this this is my cookbook. <laughs> oh gosh. So okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are looking forward to the cookbook. We'll see if she can. Emily's got to make some sense of all we'll this. Figure though. it out. I got you guys. <laughs> The next thing that I was able to dig out of the bottom of the freezer, and I was so happy to find this, is this is actually ground venison. It's not beef. These bags were just cheaper than the ones that said wild game, and that's why I bought these. <laughs> but anyway, this is ground venison from last year. Look at this, all a whole pack of over two pounds. I'm so happy to have found this. I pulled it out yesterday when we were doing that dig through, and this meat I'm gonna fry up with onions now, and we're gonna turn this into chili, one of Warren's all-time favorite meals. Okay, the chili is all done. That came together really, really fast. All I will have to do on the day that we serve this, which it is Monday, and I think I'm gonna be serving this Wednesday. I really, really like chili to sit for at least 24 hours. Um, a little bit more is better, just to really let the flavors go through. It came together so, so easily for me. And I want to encourage you 
My battery's gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna talk fast. I want to encourage you to have some recipes memorized so that when you are in a time crunch or you have a lot of things that you're trying to cook at one time, you have some things memorized and you don't have to stop and dig out a recipe card or dig through 17 different cookbooks trying to find that one recipe. So definitely have some things memorized. I have chili memorized, chocolate chip cookies memorized, Salisbury steak memorized, a whole lot of different things so that I don't have to always dig out the recipe cards. All right, that's gonna be it. We'll be back again tomorrow to see what we can dig out of the freezer. So it is just a couple days later and I pulled the chili out from the refrigerator because you know I said I really wanted that to um, kind of go for about 48 hours and just kind of let those flavors melt. I always think it tastes so much better that way. Anyway, and I was telling you just the other day how make sure you have some recipes memorized. I believe that was in this video so that you can quickly put some things together. And guess what? I took the lid off the chili. I'm like, I don't think I put the kidney beans in there. So <laughs> I'm glad that we didn't try to serve it right away because everyone would have been like, what's going on with this mom? So anyway, right now I'm going to make up some um, elbow macaroni and then I'm going to put that into the chili. I'm just going to let it kind of simmer here for about an hour and a half on real low um, heat and we'll be ready for supper.